Hey everybody, it's me, Pretender, here with a tutorial for Mass Effect 3. Um, there was a certain thread in the Mass Effect 2 of forums. Let's close this thing right here. Um, which allowed you to uh, fly around everywhere and take awesome screenshots to be used as uh, wallpapers or, uh, or whatnot. And uh, I've been uh, trying to figure out a way to make that work into Mass Effect 3 using this as a base and Wikipedia helped out a lot. And I think I found the way to do it. So first you need a little tool to uh, be able to read the uh, bioinput.ini file. It's uh, stuck in the uh, coalescit.ini uh, bin file in the Mass Effect 3 folder. So uh, you can copy paste this link here that I used. Uh, I'll put the, probably put it in the description here. And it will download the tool for you, and uh, when you un, uh, unzip it, you have three things here, and you just open this one here. You get the utility, let's uh, open it up, and let's put this a little bit here so I can see what I'm doing myself as well. So if you go to File, File, Open, and you go to your game folder, your Origin game folder. In my case it's under C Drive Games Origin, basically Origin Mass Effect 3 Bio Game cooked PC console and there it is coalescent bin so let's open that and you get this on the right side long list but the only one we are interested in in this case is the bio input dot ini file so let's expand that tree and then we expand another tree to the SFX game press plus and now we have the sections uh, where we're gonna add our uh, certain commands here which are in the little text file over to my uh, right here. So the first uh, thing we're going to, to do is uh, go over here to the SFX Game Mode Cinematic. So it's over here as well. So SFX Game Mode Cinematic. So expand that tree. And then we see the line bindings. So we go there. There are only two lines here, which uh, allow which it's like uh, I'll tell you what different. Uh, button to do basically so pretty, uh, pretty straightforward so I kept it a little bit uh, simple I'm not sure if everyone everything works as it's, uh, as it's stated over here so some might be a bit redundant but they're all there just in case so we start with numpad 0 you can change this to other buttons if you want like the F buttons if you find it easier I actually kept them the same as I found in the thread. That's probably for me. If I don't see, uh, yeah, that works the best for me. So the first command is the ghost command, where it makes you allows the ghost to no clip uh, everywhere. The walk is when you go back on your normal feet, you go out of ghost mode and back to normal mode. Not used in cinematic mode, obviously, but I don't press the button. This one is important: the toggle fly cam, which allows you to uh, skip or move away from the cutscene at any given time and fly around. This is probably not necessary either. Gob mode. This unfortunately does not seem to work. I'm just keeping it in there since it doesn't break anything. So, show HUD in Mass Effect 3, it would like remove the uh, the HUD. But even in the just a game default mode default, we'll get to that. It doesn't seem to work, but whatever. This one, the second one, is also an important one. It's the F11 command, which while well, I've put it on the F11 one, is players only. This freezes everything or everyone in place. Lip sync will actually move on, but the dialogue will pass after the last line. But it will freeze uh, everything in place. The F10 next command, I bind it under the F10 key, is the slow mo command. I got three of those, four of those actually. One is super slow mo at 0 0.01 of normal speed. Second line, just multiply, which is okay, it's like the star key on your numpad, is back to normal speed. The subtract key, also on your numpad, is half speed. And the add button, also on your num key, numpad keyboard, is number five, which means five times normal speed. So that's what we do game mode cinematic. Now in game mode, the other next time, yeah, the next thing we have to go to is uh, the new category here, which is 
SFX game mode conversation. We can find that here as well, so expand that tree. And we basically do the same thing as we did in the other screen over here. Just copy and paste all those lines. These are here just for safety here. These are the flying around commands. They're just there for safety reasons. Actually, first time experimented a little bit, so trying to figure out, just tried some commands, and it like it worked partially. And then I read the little uh, wiki uh, thread about these uh, commands and this uh, utility here, where I'm uh, putting in those commands. And I started adding them into multiple sections to make the complete thing work as it uh, the manual from Mass Effect 2 worked. So that's another one done. The next one is game mode default. Which is basically when you're playing the game. Obviously, duh. You see a little bit more sections, but the only re thing we're going to, to do things in is again in the bindings. Yep, so don't touch anything else in here, just go into the bindings. And we do the same thing again. Yep. Now, this is actually the only one where God mode actually comes in handy, handy where Ghost comes in handy. Walk command comes really in handy because, especially in Mass Effect 2, the more times I start playing that game, the more bugs that showed up. I mean, the, the bug where I get suddenly like fly up into the air on the ceiling of a building, I just like ghost my way out of it. Bam. There we go. That's that. And the last one is SFX game mode fly cam. So, like, we have a numpad 2 key. Uh, Toggle as the toggle fly cam command, and to give it a little bit more options, we go here and we add the last group of Ooh. commands. So we're almost there. And then I will just zip into the single player game to show you how it works. Uh, you can actually also uh, add it to a uh, game mode, I think it is, what is it called? Dream Sequence, I think. I think it's Dream Sequence, yeah. So that's where like, the little kid in the trees, but I didn't really find those very interesting or very engaging. I found them kind of stupid. But there you have it. So, when we're done, Save the file. Actually, before you save the file, you should have backed up the file, which I actually already did, uh, putting into a RAR file, the original. So, yeah, go to that, uh, go to your path, back this up before you actually do this. I should have given that warning uh, at the start, but hey, there you go. It's like a very long day. Don't want to talk about it. And to do uh, it involved the Dutch train uh, system, so you Dutch people probably would realize what I'm talking about. Okay, um, there you go. Go as a .bin file. Back that up before you do it. Go to file, press save. Bam! I think I deleted one. Yeah, let's put that one back in there. Like that and save it again. And there it works. Okay, so now we've done everything here which uh, we want to do. And now we're going to go in the game, and uh, I will show you how it all works. So. Yes, before we actually go into the game, there was actually a mistake I made into the, uh, in the conversation mode, where I actually added the mouse controls, and as you can see, the mistake I made is there is no Y for the mouse. So, yeah, I could only move my mouse horizontally. And that's not really useful. So let's, you know, just for the sake of safety, add these commands to the cinematic mode. 
as well. It's a safety marsh. Don't hurt it. Who's gonna die? Maybe uh, a little bunny or something will die. See, as you can see, this was still a bit of experimenting for me as I'm still sort of uh, tweaking it, but. Uh, See that that happens sometimes. I have to like put it in there, and now I can save it. So now we should be all good to go in game, and I will see you guys uh, right there after a nice little smooth crossfade. Yeah. Hey everybody, we're now in game. Mass Effect 2 or 3. Blah. Great. Mass Effect 3. Uh, we're standing in the CIC with my Commander Shepard here. I'll well, actually default Commander Shepard in terms of uh, facial. Uh, Look, and uh, it's a soldier class, hit, whatever. So it's the first character I've played in the Mass Effect uh, 1, just a standard soldier. Of course, we gotta give this guy. So, let's see all the buttons in action for the game mode default. So we press 2, and now we're actually in fly cam mode, as far as the game is concerned. And we can fly around, look up, down, fly everywhere, fly through walls, if that will float your boat, take a nice picture of the space skybox. These guys work. You know, I think you are working a little bit slow, so, um, yeah, I think you should uh, work harder. There you go. There you go. Oh, that makes you tired, doesn't it? Yeah, okay. Oh, that's, it makes me very, very, very tired. Even the return cam is now slow. <laughs> So those were a quick succession, the speed buttons, the slow-mo speed, which I've tapped to the F10 button, the half speed, oh no, I forgot the half speed again, oh, I'm such a dummy, um, at least for the game mode default, why I keep making so many typos here, it's so ridiculous, and the hyperspeed, this is the modern mode, or the Solarian mode, whatever you want to call it. This is Mass Effect on crack. I wouldn't recommend playing the game on, uh, on this speed, it will drive you nuts and the cutscenes will be over in two seconds flat. Kind of funny, and bam, we're slow again. Yeah, so let's move into a cutscene uh, next, and I will show you how that, uh, that works, and I will fix the uh, minus key here in the game mode default at the same time as well. So back in the jiffy. Alright, so I'm back in game and the has speed working should be working now. What actually happened was a little quirky thing with the program is where it would some sometimes delete a line uh, when I save uh, when I press the save key when I have it selected. So I probably missed that. So when it actually deleted the line even though I put it in there. So this is half speed and back to normal speed. So let's move on to a conversation mode by going into this thing first and like initiating this mission over here bang and there you go so commander are you ready to send the fleets against the Cerberus stronghold now here Hackett wants to talk to us and now we're in a this is technically conversation mode as you can see with the dialogue wheel and the dialogue and everything so it's not cinematic different modes, so that's why you have to do so many. And we're here now. You know, these people are also not working fast enough. Initiate. Modern mode. Alright, you can slow down now. Back to normal speed. Okay. This is uh, work in progress of the Crucible. Why these two are like stuck together, but hey, it's probably running on Windows. So, basically, the same principle as we did in the other ones you can just fly around, fly around, boom, 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 boom. They will add some more controls to make it a bit easier to uh, go up and down, perhaps, but uh, we'll see. And we press 2 to go back in there. 
And we go the now. Reapers and Cerberus started this. Now we're gonna end it. I'll get the fleets mobilized. And there's one more button I will have to show you guys, but I will show you that in a little next bit. So you could be looking at my little helmet. And who was that? Stop! You can still hear the sounds. I wondered where you were. So I just stopped the game. Now wouldn't this be an awesome screenshot like right this? And you can actually hear the game sounds coming on in the background. Something like that. See? That would be nice, right? Oop, my recording program uh, went weird a little bit, so... See, this is a nice good shot. Shepard staring at his helmet, you know, the fish tank in the background. That's a nice, let's press a screen up on them. Bam, right there. And that's pretty freaking wicked. We also do something like this. Stare from the air from behind. Looking Shepard and all being all derpy with his eyes. Zip. Bam. Fish are actually still keeping going, so it's only the characters that stop. It's not actually animations, as you can see in the background. The fish are alive and well. I mean, some are chilling, some are flying around. Thank God the fish feeder was working, or else they would die as well. And you press 11 again. Edie didn't tell you? She respects your privacy. And the same thing works, Not you can like slow it down. What are you doing? See, the lips aren't moving anymore since the game's already done everything, so. I thought I heard the casing crack during that last fight. This is a bit weird then. Bullet no, must have just grazed me. It would go it would go back in sync uh, as soon as you get a little dialogue change, so now it will go back. But you can do the same thing again. So press pause. Bam. Fly around. Okay, this is the funny thing with cutscenes or conversation modes is where they actually place the characters every once in a while. Being all weird like You cheated on me. No I didn't. <laughs> Too bad the dialogue wheel still there, you can't get rid of that. At least I have not found a way. So yeah, this is basically it. Uh, you can make cool screenshots, you can do it when you're on a mission, you see something cool, a cool scene, what you want to do, I think uh, wallpaper material. Um, it's not the perfect uh, method, it's not, it's work doesn't work as well as uh, the original mod did, and I think, I uh, hope this trailer vid video helps, I will put a more verbal description probably on the Bioware forums in writing at a different time and this will be a supplemental that so you can see it in action there you go I did find it it actually is probably better to uh, go back into normal modes to make a dialogue choice and then freeze frame it afterwards if necessary you first huh. Very like fair. that and then just like non way I do out of there. Most is for this war to end while there's still a galaxy left bam. to save. Like that. And bam. So, I hope uh, this video helps if the writing uh, isn't clear enough from my point of view in that case. I'm sorry. And I hope this little mod will help you to make some awesome screenshots. So, that will make a even great material for uh, the demotivational or the motivational threads on the forums here, which is like the only thread I really, really read. So, bam bam, and see you guys uh, some other time, maybe in the multiplayer. As long as you play PC. So, it's the only platform I have decided to get. So, bye bye, guys.